Our scripture today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 9, starting with verse 1. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man who was blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who has sinned that this man was born blind, this man or his parents? And Jesus answered, Neither he nor his parents, but rather this has happened so that God's mighty works might be displayed in him. For while it is daytime, we must do the work of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now after he said this, he spit on the ground and he made mud with his saliva, and he smeared the mud in the man's eyes. And Jesus said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means scent. So the man went away, and he washed. And when he returned, he could see. A man's neighbors and those who used to see him when he was a beggar said, Was it this the man who used to sit and beg? And some said, Well, it is. And others said, No, it's somebody who just looks like him. But the man said, Yes, it's me. And so they asked him, well, how are you able now to see? And he answered, the man, the man they called Jesus made mud and he smeared it in my eyes and he said, go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And so I went and I washed and then I could see. And they asked, where is this man? And he answered, I don't know. Then they led the man who had been born blind to the Pharisees. Now Jesus made the mud and he smeared it on the man's eyes on a Sabbath day. So the Pharisees asked him how he was able to see and the man told them, well, he put mud in my eyes and I washed and, and now I see. Well, some of the Pharisees said, well, this man isn't from God because he breaks the Sabbath law. And others said, yeah, but how can a sinner do miraculous signs like these? And so they were divided. Some of the Pharisees questioned the man who had been born blind again and said, What do you have to say about him since he healed your eyes? And he replied, He is a prophet. Now the Jewish leaders didn't believe the man had been blind and received his sight, and so they called for his parents. And they asked of them, is this your son? I mean, are you saying that he was born blind? Well, how then now can he see? And his parents answered, Well, we know he's our son, and we know that he was born blind, but we don't know how he now sees, and we don't know who healed his eyes. Why don't you ask him? He's old enough to speak for himself. Well, his parents said this because they feared the Jewish authorities. You see, it was be Jewish authorities had already decided that whoever confessed Jesus to be the Christ would be expelled from the synagogue. And that's why his parents said, he's old enough, ask him. And therefore they called for a second time for the man who had been born blind, and they said to him, give glory to God. We know this man, referring to Jesus, we know this man is a sinner. But the man answered, I don't know whether he's a sinner or not, but here's what I do know. I was once blind, but now I see. They continued to question him. Well, what did he do to you? And how did he heal your eyes? And the man replied, I've already told you, but you didn't listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? They then insulted him. You were his disciple, but we are the disciples of Moses. We know that God spoke to Moses, but we don't know where this man is from. And the man answered, This is absolutely incredible. You don't know where he's from, yet he healed my eyes. We know that God doesn't listen to sinners. 
God listens to anyone who is devout and does his will. No one has ever heard of healing the eyes of a man who was born blind. If this man wasn't from God, he couldn't do this. And they responded, you were born completely in sin. How is it that you dare to teach us? And then they expelled him. Jesus finds then the man who was born blind. He looked for him because he had understood that they had expelled him from the synagogue. And finding him, he said to the man, do you believe in the human one? And the man answered, well, who is he, sir? Well, I want to believe in him. And Jesus said, well, you have seen him. In fact, he's the one that's speaking to you. And the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped Jesus. And Jesus said, I have come into the world to exercise judgment so that those who don't see can see and those who see will become blind. Well, some of the Pharisees who were with him heard what he said and said, surely you're not saying we're blind, are you? And Jesus said to them, if you were blind, you wouldn't have any sin. But now that you say we see, your sin remains. May God bless this reading of his holy word.